Hi guys, it's Marshall here with this week's Sanity Check. This week I want to talk a bit about the nature of emotional evolution or healing. Because a lot of times when we get into healing, we, we come in with assumptions and expectations that it should be a one-time deal or that it, one specific technique or approach should eliminate all of our pain or all of our struggles. Um, a lot of times we have unrealistic expectations about healing because we don't really understand its nature. So healing emotionally is about growth. It's not about fixing something. It's about evolving out of pain into an alternative like resiliency, confidence, indifference, peace. And that's what we need to understand about it is that process of accomplishing those kind of states is a journey that allow that comes from allowing it to teach you. It's not something you commit to. It's something that it shows up for you in the process of healing. Now, kind of bring this into a little bit of uh, like an example, right? So, for a long time, I dealt with anxiety about being wrong about women. I felt like women wouldn't want somebody like me. They wouldn't want somebody that has my interests, my proclivities, the things that I enjoy uh, intimately and uh, platonically, that kind of thing. And that came from some very specific events in my childhood that I allowed to shape my point of view on myself and on what I thought females wanted from males. So my evolution was, my healing was an evolution of the point of view I had on women. It was also an evolution in my safety for being vulnerable, being exposed, being wanted, being liked. Um, it was an evolution of trust. It was an evolution in liking myself and improving my own self-image, my own self-value. And there was a lot of pieces that had to happen in this to accomplish that kind of outcome. And they all had to move, and they all moved in their own time and in their own way. I inhibited my healing for a lot of years because I kept trying to fix it. I kept trying to force it. I tried to make it do something so I could get to the end result. And then I just, I <laughs> wasn't really working well, so I stepped back. I'm like, okay, I'm going to allow this to teach me. And that's when my evolution took off. I began having different experiences, finding out different things about myself, learning how to carry myself differently, different kinds of energy you could carry as a person. And I was able to evolve into a man that has confidence that he can be appealing to women. Now, that evolution is actually still happening right now for me. I, it's such a deeply ingrained thing that sometimes I have to revisit that pain and help nurture and encourage that part of myself, that aspect of self, to expand and grow and mature, okay? So healing is not something that happens in an event. It is a process and it is a journey and it's about discovery. Allow your pain to teach you and guide you into confidence, into resolution, into closure, and into peace. So if you're trying to heal something in your life using some of my methods or someone else's methods, check in with yourself this week to make sure you're discovering rather than forcing, controlling, or trying to fix. Okay? Thank you, guys. You guys have a great week. Have We're in the holiday season, so happy belated um, Halloween. And we've got Thanksgiving and Christmas coming, and along with all the other holidays. So happy holidays to you guys. Have a great week, and we'll talk next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.